Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my first, not my first, but a vlog. <laughs> I haven't done one in a really long time. And I just filmed a get ready with me catch up chit chat. And I was like, you know what? Let's just keep it going. I'm about to make food for Nelly. We started solids. And like I mentioned in my get ready with me video, we're doing solid starts. And so today we're gonna do white kidney beans. Um, she hasn't had these before, but we are gonna make them into like a little mash and add olive oil and chia seeds and then I think we're also going to do cauliflower. She hasn't tried that either. She's had broccoli before which she's on the fence about. That is what I'm going to do right now and then we have our first swim class today. I'm staring at Miss Nelly. Um, so I'm going to get her bag ready for that. Uh, I get in the water with her too so I have to pack up like a change of clothes for both of us. And yeah, that'll be a fun little part of our day. So come along. Okay, this I just need to open and drain. I'm sure you guys have seen that really cool can opener on like Instagram or TikTok or whatever. I need to buy one of those off of Amazon because ours is kind of broken. It's really hard to use and it gets stuck all the time. And it's not user error because I've had multiple people use this and they're like, yeah, this sucks. In case you guys didn't know, we are teaching Eleanor Spanish. Well, Spanish is my first language. Um, so I'm speaking to her in Spanish and Corey is speaking to her in English and my parents will watch Nelly so she gets Spanish from them as well. Okay, let's drain this. You know what, I have to check the time of, the time of her swim class because if it's at 12.15, I will not be able to make her cauliflower. Tiene sueño, te lo veo en la carita. It's at 12.15. Okay, we are just going to do beans today. So I'm just going to do a little bit of beans for her right now. And then I will save the rest in here in the fridge. Okay. So for the solid starts, it's like a um, PDF that you can download on your phone. Wow, that's really bright. Oh, there it is. It's kind of focusing now. Um, and it shows you how to make everything. So um, rinse the beans. If you're using canned beans, transfer any extra beans in a can in an airtight container. Yep, I just did that. Mash the beans with olive oil and baby's bowl until smooth. And then you can add chia seeds to them as well. And then you just let her kind of play around. Um, and you can add cauliflower to the mashed beans, but I'm not going to be doing that today. So we got her little like the suction plate or whatever. Okay, this is what the beans look like right now and I'm just going to smash them and then I'll put a little bit of olive oil and chia seeds in here. Let me grab my oil, do a little bit. Oh, that's more than I wanted. It's a good mix. Before I put her in the high chair, I wanted to show you which one we went with. I'm not sure to pronounce the brand. I think it's Stoke, maybe, but it's so cute. It, She has her own tray right now and she can't really sit up on her own quite yet, which is why the straps are there to help her stay seated. But it comes like the tray's not there. She'll just get to like eat with us. I mean, I guess you can still do it with the tray there. But I really like it. I like the color. I think it fits well with our furniture. I'm gonna put her in here, let her just kind of play with the food first and then try and give her a spoon to see what she'll do with it. So she's just really playing with it and it's okay. For now, not gonna get a whole lot actually consumed, but it's more so getting them used to the motion of bringing stuff to their mouth, getting them used to different textures, tastes, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the solid food start thing, this is not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just genuinely really like it and I've learned so much with it. So I think she kind of likes it. Huh? Huh, mama? <laughs> Te gusta? That's rica, ¿verdad? It's a habichuela. Habichuela. Quieres un poquito en tu cuchara? Toma. She's also been grabbing stuff with her left hand. I wonder if she's going to be left-handed. Her, all of her tias, so my two sisters and my mom are all left-handed. So we'll see. I think she likes it so far. Um, she's mainly just grabbing it with her hands and putting it in her mouth. Um, doesn't really understand spoon concept yet. Like she'll play with the spoon, but that's okay. This is normal for this age. Someone at our baby shower gifted us like the mat that goes on the floor to catch food and I haven't like opened it yet so I need to start doing that because 
food gets everywhere. Luckily, we have two dogs and they have been doing a good job of cleanup, but I don't need it to get this messy. <laughs> um, so while she's eating that, I pulled up her little swim lesson um, instructions and what to bring. So I need to bring a swimsuit and change of clothes and a towel for both the baby and me. And then she has to wear disposable diapers, but also reusable diapers as well, just to be super safe. Um, it just explains how like crying and tearing up is normal, especially if this is their first class. Um, I don't think she'll cry, but we'll see. Um, and that they do um, have them go underwater. As I know some patients, some parents don't like that, but it's necessary, obviously, if accidents happen, they need to learn how to swim underwater, how to the edge, you know, stuff like that. She's gonna be learning all of that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the bag ready as I sit here and watch her eat. So let's go do that. Okay, obviously I'm in the car in a very different setting. I was gonna show you what I packed for her for her swim class and then it just got way too late and I realized I needed to leave in like 10 minutes. So it kind of was a cluster. Um, it was fine, the class was fine. I think I was just way too rushed and I hadn't realized the time. Hold on. Okay, I just parked my car somewhere else because the lady next to me was being weird. Um, anyway, it just ended up being a cluster because I was rushed. And then by the time I got there, I got there with like three minutes. I got there three minutes early. And I thought because it was my first class, they would like, okay, this is how we do things. And it just kind of, we jumped right in. And I feel like it just happened so fast. Um, Nelly did great. She didn't cry. She was definitely like shocked. She was just like, what is this? Like I could see her little face like questioning everything. But then by the end she was laughing. She's just such a happy baby that like, I think she's really gonna like it. It was cute. We practiced like kicking, we practiced jumping in. Well, like you like pull them in, right? You drop them in um, and like laying on their backs and just like really basic stuff. Obviously it's her first class, um, but I think she did really good. And then the teacher gave us feedback and stuff to work on. I don't have a pool. So maybe this weekend we can go to my parents' house and just like practice some stuff uh, with her. There was this one game where like they threw a ring underneath the water and you're on the steps, right? So it's like shallow and she was supposed to grab it, like the ring, it's like a really bright colored ring. But I think she was just so distracted by like the other baby that was in her class where like she just kept looking at him and like reaching towards the other baby. So I'm like just too stimulated to like focus on this ring. So I definitely want to practice with that at home. Um, but yeah, I just feel so, I mean, I feel like I look disheveled. And then the changing room situation was weird. Like I didn't bring the right shoes. I need to go get like old Navy flip flops. And like, I don't know, on Thursday we have another class and Corey's coming with me. And I feel like that's going to just make it easier because it's just, and I want to make sure we get here like earlier and like maybe pack the bag before 10 minutes before we have to be out the door. Anyway, it was fun. I think she had fun. I think she's like super tired now. So because she ate the beans and then she had a bottle before we left. So I think she's just gonna pass out in the car, but I'm pretty hungry. So I'll probably get like a salad, salad go, salad and go or whatever, or like something drive through. And then maybe I just need to sit. I feel like I was just so rushed the last hour. I just need to like sit. So that's the plan. Um, okay, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I'll check back once I'm at home. Finally back home, I picked up some Chipotle and I'm gonna sit and just enjoy this and relax. Like I said, I don't know why that last hour just really stressed me out. It was a lot. <laughs> Nellie is still sleeping, which is really nice. She's starting to wake up, but it'll be fine. One thing that I wanted to show you guys is, and this is something so unnecessary, but I feel like it just adds a little something and makes it special is I'm trying to like not, I love Waterloo's by the way, the blackberry lemonade is one of my favorites. Instead of just like drinking it from the can to feel a little bit more like, is just like getting a cup, a cute cup. This is from Anthropology. It's pink with ice and my glass straw and just like eating it. It's almost like romanticizing your life, you know? Like just, I don't know, I just feel a little like a little special. So when I can, I try to do that or friends come over and I offer them a drink. I try and always present it in a way that's cute rather than just like from the can. So I don't know, something I've been doing and that I really like, but I'm super hungry. So let's dig in. It's 
so delicious. I got white rice, black beans, pico de gallo, the green salsa, chicken, that's it. Uh, guacamole to it and then dip my chips into it. It's so good. I can tell that she's still sleepy, so a lot of the times I will put on my audiobook. I'm reading the second book of the Crescent, uh, Crescent City series, um, which I really like. I love Sarah J. Maas. Let's go back. He assumed she meant it in between place where the mystics roamed. What if she meant to this world? Back to her life before. The family who had sold her into this. Not his problem. The thing I really like is the Hatch Light. Definitely, if you're pregnant, something to get for sure. It comes with an app, and it's like the little night light, but there's different settings. Um, I have it on rain right now, but usually to help us wind down for nap time, I do the lullaby. I don't know if you can hear it. I can just do it all from my app. It's pretty cool. Hey, you're checking in again. Uh, we ended up taking a nap. She did not nap on the chair. She did not nap on her crib. I had to give her another bottle. Um, she would not latch. Like, I'm still breastfeeding and formula feeding. We do both. But for some reason, she was just so distracted and not latching, and I just couldn't, we couldn't do it anymore. So I gave her a formula bottle in my bed, and she fell asleep in my arms, and then I got to move her to her room. But it was a rough little bit because she was just not having it. I was not having it. Really having to practice a lot of patience. She is not a baby that naps typically. She doesn't nap well. She sleeps for like 10 hours every night straight, which is amazing. I'm not complaining at all. I would take that over anything, but it sucks when she does get sleepy during the day. She fights and fights and fights and fights and it's really hard. Um, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna set you down here. Now I have a minute and I'm going to film two TikToks that I wanna get done um, just because I wanna be more consistent in the month of June. And then I have to go, or I have to go e through emails today. I did a little bit this morning, but I really need to respond. I'm trying to be better at emails. I get so much anxiety around emails. And I don't know why. Um, I think I need someone to help me. But sit here and work for a little bit. I have my Alani pick me up. This is just one of the mini ones. I wish all the flavors came in the mini ones. It's just a hundred milligrams of caffeine. The big ones are 200 and this late in the day it is five o'clock. I can't have two milligrams. Um, this is just the perfect portion size. And I have my water because at 6 p.m. I'm going to go on my run. Let's do some emails. Here I did emails. I filmed three videos, like two TikTok, two TikToks and a reel. Um, I still got to edit them. And then little Missy down here um, needed my attention. I had to feed her, so um, got a little bit busy. I'm going to actually sit on her play mat with her, and I'm gonna do an unboxing about two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago now i actually ordered a vintage um chanel bag and i haven't unboxed it it came in the mail last week and sometimes i do this when i get packages i just like i'm so excited for them and i just let it sit so let me set up my little tripod and let's do an unboxing of a vintage chanel bag I got a vintage Chanel bag, um, which I told myself I wasn't gonna get any more Chanel's. I went to Paris, I was gonna go, or I went to the first Chanel store and had plans to potentially buy a bag, either something red or something denim. And the vibes I got at the store were so icky, like just pretentious, 
judgy. Oh, it drove me nuts. I left feeling very unsatisfied and just like, I don't know, like I didn't fit in, like I didn't look the part, which is so, I hate when stores feel like that, which I've never felt that way to, at Dior and Dior is my favorite luxury brand. If you guys have been following me, you know I love luxury bags. Um, so I have been following um, Fashionika on Instagram for about like one or two months now and her bag drop videos are so fun. So she does bag drop videos every Wednesday and then she does like a $1 auction on her Whatnot account. And I had no idea what Whatnot was until following her, but I'll leave her handle and stuff so you guys can check it out. She'll explain it much better. But essentially she sources a bunch of vintage bags from like Dior, Chanel, Bottega, Fendi, like Gucci, all the big brands. And um, she auctions them off at a dollar and then like people are bidding back and forth. It's so exciting. And so she had this Chanel bag there and I got it and it's a vintage bag. Um, I think I only have one other vintage bag and it's Fendi, um, which I got on Poshmark years and years ago when I still lived in Oklahoma. So let's unbox this vintage Chanel. I haven't taken it out of the box, so we're gonna do that together. I don't know, it is very, very vintage. I don't know if it comes with like the dust bag and stuff. This I have decided is going to be my last bag for this year, unless it's a gift or something that's like a must, must, must have. I really, just especially since having Nelly, I just don't want to spend my money on bags anymore. Like I don't need them. I have so many and I realize that. So this was just something special and I really wanted it. Okay, so it is so vintage. It is from 1989. So it's 35 years old, 34 years old. Um, and it's a medium double flap bag, which I do not have. I'm excited. Oh, cute. Oh, there's like little confetti. Thank you for shopping with Fashionica and choosing to bring conscientious fashion into your life. I do like that. I do like the idea of shopping more vintage because the bag gets another life. Oh, wow. There's a certificate of authenticity, which is really cool. Oh my god, really cool. Make sure I keep that. That's important in case I ever want to sell it. No box, which is fine. It says, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for, is what it says on there, which is really cute. I think she said um, it was like a 8.5 out of 10 vintage condition, which is pretty good. So excited. It's ready. It's the color of the season. This is in really good condition. This bag is pretty much as old as I am. Look at her. Like there's definitely little marks on the sides, which like even bags that you use, I've had for like a year that are brand new, that happens. Oh my gosh. Color, I was worried it was gonna be really orangey, but this is a true red. It has a little mark here, just from the zipper up here. Oh my god. I always worry with vintage bags too that they smell. There's no smell to this. This is, this is in amazing condition. Are you kidding me? My outfit's crazy. If I go crossbody, it's a little high. It's right underneath my boobs, so I probably wouldn't wear it like that. But I could. It's a really good find. The color, you guys, the color is insane. This is incredible. I'm really glad I bought it and that this is going to be like the last, probably, last purchase. Big purchase of 2024. So happy. Definitely check out Fashionica if you're wanting to do more sustainable um, fashion because like this bag is pretty much as old as I am and it is in such good condition and it's gonna get like a whole new life with me. Like how cool is that? Big fan.
big big fan okay guys i think i'm going to end this little vlog here um i'm gonna go on my run soon and then make some dinner and just hang out with my family for the rest of the night so i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog um i definitely want to keep making them I'm trying it like i said in my catch-up video like just not put pressure on myself with social social media and just film what i want to film and put it out there it doesn't have to be this super fancy crazy aesthetic thing just me <laughs> I think Nelly wants to play, so I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.